Hello everyone. As the FA18C Hornet got the JDAMs in the last open beta update, I'm going to go through a tutorial on how to recon rather accurate coordinates with the SA342 Gazelle and use those coordinates with the JDAM. I've set up a simple mission with an FA18C Hornet and a Gazelle helicopter. I've loaded up the FA18C with some GPU 38 500 pound JDAMs. I've got a target with a chemical plant, an SA-2 site and some shorter range air defences. My main targets are the SA-2 radar and the chemical plant. I've also set up 8 waypoints for the Gazelle, most importantly my observation points on waypoints 1, 4, 6 and 8. The idea is rather simple, although it takes quite a bit of time and one has to be extra careful when in a high threat environment. I use Gazelle's Vivian camera system to get offset azimuth and distance from my current location and the Nadir navigation system to calculate coordinates for the offset. I do this from four different sides of the target to get as accurate coordinates as possible. At the first observation point I set my gazelle to hover and carefully rise to peek over the ridge to find my targets, keeping most of my helo behind terrain masking. Once I find my target, I carefully place the Vivian reticule pointing to the ground underneath the target. Note that it is important to point to the ground rather than the target itself as DCS doesn't model the laser distance incorrectly to the target, but rather where the beam intersects the ground. I click the laser designating button and make note of the azimuth and the distance, 022 and 9066. I jump back to the pilot seat and enter these as an offset waypoint to the Nadia. To do this, I press pole, zero and the waypoint, which will be nine in my case. Then I press enter, and input the azimuth, 022. Then I press the down arrow and enter the distance, 9066. And finally enter to confirm. Now I can check the coordinates for the newly created waypoint 9. Nadir gives lat long coordinates only up to one decimal minute, which is not accurate enough for JDAMs. Therefore I click the UTM button to get the UTM coordinates. I take note of the coordinates, the northings and the eastings, and also by pressing the down arrow I take note of the UTM area, 4 row in this case. I repeat the process for the chemical plant. After I cut the coordinates, I'm flying a safe route, taking advantage of terrain masking, to the next observation point. Again, I get the UTM coordinates for both the chemical plant and the SA-2 radar from the Nadir. Again the same for the third observation point. And the fourth observation point.
Now that I got the four coordinate points for both targets, I calculate an average for both Eastings and Northings for both of the targets. Here are the coordinates and their calculated averages in an Excel sheet. Next I need to convert the UTM coordinates into lap long coordinates for the JDAMs. I use an online tool to do this. I input the zone code 40 and then the averaged Eastings and Northings. The tool then calculates accurate lat long coordinates with decimal seconds. Now, let's hop into the Hornet and set up our JDAM mission. On the stores page, I first set up the e to instant, and then go to the JDAM page. Here, I select the mission page MSN and the pre-planned mission 1. I press target UFC button and select POS for position to input the coordinates. First for the SA2 with degrees, minutes and seconds first and then press enter. After the first enter I input the decimal seconds 85 and press enter again. Note that the coordinates now appear on the left DDI. I then input the longitude the same way, first degrees, minutes and seconds press enter, input the decimals, and press enter again. I also input the elevation of the target in meters, which I've looked up from the F10 map. Repeat the inputs for the chemical plant using pre-planned mission 2. Now it's time to take off and climb. I climb up to 40,000 feet and approach the target with the pre-planned 1 JDAM mission selected. I pump chaff as the SA2 site is locking me during the running in. As currently the JDAM still have problems when launched from maximum distance, I wait about 10 seconds after the in-range queue to guarantee better accuracy. I pickle one JDAM for the SA2 radar, switch to pre-plant 2 program and pickle for the chemical plant. Now it's time to go defensive, so while pumping chaff, I do a split S to get away from the SA2 site. Safely on my way from the target, I can have a look at the JDAMs.
The first JDAM hits directly on the SA-2 radar. And the second JDAM also hits the chemical plant, exactly as planned. In the end, I'll show a bit of the variance for the coordinates obtained with the Gazelle. Using only the coordinates from the first observation point, the JDAM misses quite a bit, and even if it manages to destroy the radar, for example tank or BTR would have most likely survived the blast. Using only the coordinates from the second observation point, the JDAM misses even more, hitting a wrong target. Depending on the size of the target, one could possibly get away with only two or three observation points. I have not tested how having fewer data points would affect the accuracy, but with four points one can be quite confident to hit the right target. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I find it quite a lot of fun to do a recon mission like this and then see the results directly applied to attacking the targets.